Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My door keeps popping because the wind is very windy today. Hopefully you won't hear it. Um, I am Crafty Jackie and I love stuff. And I love sharing my stuff and selling my stuff. So, um, if you haven't been to my channel before, uh, I do all kinds of videos. I haven't done as many craft videos as I would like, but um, I do a lot. I do craft when I'm in the mood. Um, I my main thing I love to do is go thrifting, and when I get a chance, I I usually find a bunch of stuff that I'd like to share with other people, and so I have live sales on Fridays. Hold on. Oh. allergy season is so bad right now um if i i have my live sales on friday nights here on youtube at 6 p.m eastern and uh the majority of what i sell is vintage uh sometimes if it's something really cool i sell it and it's not old but most of it's vintage um if you like that kind of content uh make sure you Subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumbs up for this video. And soon I will be having a giveaway for my uh, hitting a thousand subscribers. And uh, I'm hoping to find what I want to be in the giveaway uh, this next few days. And when I do, I will let you know. Uh, and I also wanted to let you know that, um, I am going to be having a Christmas sale on August, August, duh, I wish, October 23rd, which is the day that the Hallmark Channel starts Christmas. So I thought, what appropriate timing to have a Christmas sale. Get yourself a cup of hot chocolate or coffee. By that time here, it'll probably be pretty cold and have your Hallmark channel gently going in the background and shop Christmas. Um, I'm going to be having, we haven't worked out the details of how we're going to do it, but I will be having this sale with, uh, yes, <laughs> D from the thrill of the thrift. And, uh, my brother thinks her name of her channel is, is so cool because he said that's what it is it's the thrill of finding things and it is yeah you drive up to a yard sale and you can feel the adrenaline pumping who i i find what am i going to find and that's what happened this past saturday uh i happened to be looking i found some pretty good sounding yard sales and so i uh we ventured out and the first one, it said it had vintage and it said pop-up sale. I don't think it's a pop-up because it looked like they've been having them for a while. But um, she had her stuff priced, you know, for retail, not, not to resell. I did pick up a few things that I thought, you know, were priced low enough that I could resell them. Um... But I'm going to show you the first thing I I saw, and I bought it on a goofy whim that uh, I said, this will be my birthday present because my birthday was Monday. Or was, at that time, it was going to be on Monday. And so I did. And uh, then I, you know, it looked it looked better at, at the sale. I'm sorry, I'm moving a few things off of it. But... Um, hopefully I can straighten it out, but someone made this because, um, Sue from Sumi, she makes a lot of these, uh, trinket trays and tidbit trays as she calls them. And this one is from, uh, well, actually the bottom plate is made in China and the top one is made in China. Oh, sweet. But the middle one is vintage, and it is that plate right there. So anyway, I, I paid way too much for it, but I wanted it, so 
there she goes. I paid $15 for this, and I should have my butt kicked because I made one of my own for $5. <laughs> it isn't made of dishes. It's made of a pizza pan, uh, a, um, let's see, what's the other one? A pie plate, a pie pan, and a cake pan, and two candle holders. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll, have to I'll have to show you that sometime and show you how easily you can make your own tray. I mean, you can make it out of anything. You can make it out of three vintage pie plates or, you know, you can, it's amazing what you can make yourself. So anyway, that I bought. Um, then, uh, of course, she was very slick and had a lot of stuff not priced. I bought this, which I thought was very cool. And um, it's a sugar shaker. Or I, you, you could also put for flour, like people would use this, you know, if they were making their gravy and stuff, I think. But mostly it was sugar, like powdered sugar. And uh, I asked how much, and of course I already had it said I wanted it. I think she charged me too much for that one. But we'll see. If, if I was overcharged, I'm just going to sell these things if I don't want them for whatever I paid for them. Because... You know, that's just how it is. I know one thing was very dirty. Uh, she should have cleaned her stuff up a little bit. Um, I got this little... Oh, no, that wasn't from there, so never mind. Um, let's see here. I got to keep reaching. I'm sorry. Um, I got this, and it says it is made in Hong Kong, 1975. <clears throat> And it's, I love it. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't know. It's got holes in it. Like, I'm thinking it's a sugar shaker. I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm thinking. And uh, I love blue and white. I know a lot of other people do. It's plastic, which I thought was a little odd, but I thought it was really cute. I liked that. Um, I got this here. This thing looks to be quite old. It's a, uh, it's got a metal bottom on it. It's a bank, but I just thought he was so cute. So 1950s, uh, French poodle. And, uh, yeah, so I thought he was cute. Uh, let's see what else. One thing I bought, one of them's missing, and I'm going to have to look around in the car because I think it flew off the top of the dish, and that's this little um, <laughs> little uh, squirrel. So there was two of them, and uh, yeah, I just thought he was a cutie pie. And then there was this... Um, I. I thought they looked vintage. Um, uh, little muffin cups. You know, if you didn't want to use them, you could just decorate with them. And then I got this, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it is decal border for your... You, it shows you how you can, you know, put it on uh, like canisters or... Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff, but it's like a border. And it's got like swans and stuff like that. And uh, swans are so big now, I thought somebody might really like this. Okay, what else did I get? Speaking of swans, I got this itty bitty teeny tiny swan. And uh, I thought it was cute. And those of us who love little things, that this would be really cute on a on a little tiny. Sh I have a little shelf that has all little things on it, so I thought that would be cute. I'm not personally uh, into swans that much, but I can see you know how people would be. All right, I have this. <clears throat> 
they were selling these and somebody had put little witch hats on everything. I thought this would be cute for Halloween. And so I got that. Okay. I hate keep reaching. I'm sorry, guys. It's just hard to... And then I got this little picture and I... Let me get my thing. I didn't... I didn't have it with me, my magnifying glass. It's uh, made in England. And it is. It's old, I can tell. It says bridge scenes. It says hand engraved. I'm not sure how, how that could be, but anyway, it's this little picture. And I think it's so pretty. I know a bunch of you guys collect little pictures. And this one would be nice and different, you know. Ron's, Ron's walking on the dog toys. Okay, let's see what else. And uh, the last thing that I think I got from them is right here. This was the one that really made me mad. Uh, six. I don't know how many times I've worn this shirt when I've been uh, showing you face things doing sales was this tin and I knew it was old and I was loving it and it was marked two dollars and I said oh that's a great price and then she said oh that's not two dollars that's how much I paid for it so she charged me five dollars so that's made me quite angry. Eh. That sale and uh, a sale that I went to yesterday, sort of, that one was a real bummer. But um, hopefully that's going to pan out better. All right. So after I went to that sale, um, I went to one where I did get quite a few things. The lady, uh, it was an older lady that most of the stuff was hers and she had a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got from her. Get some of this junk out of the way. Let me get my little witches out of the way here. I thought they were pretty funny. I need to get too close. I don't want you guys to be looking at my nostrils. <clears throat> Aha. Alrighty. At this sale, right in front, she had a, a bunch of jewelry. And so I got a variety of mostly Christmas pins. Um, here's a snowman. And uh, here's a Here's two and three pins in this one. Three different ones. And this one is two, they are metal. One's like a little, almost like a tie tack. And then the other one's a little tree. And um, this one's pretty. This one looks like it's made out of FEMA dough or something. And uh, this one I loved. It's a 4th of July pin. And uh, then I got this one that I thought was real pretty. It looks almost like a real pearl. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. And that's this little gold tone pin um, with the uh, pearl on it. I thought that was real pretty. It looked very fall-like. So I got those. And uh, I'm going to get a sip of my coffee. Um, I got this little cake stand. I thought this was really sweet. And it's very textured uh, glass. I haven't looked it up yet or anything to see who might have made it. 
but I didn't see any issues with it, so I thought that would be a nice little, be cute to put some little cupcakes on or, you know, candy at Christmas time would be nice. But I love our Christmas candy. <clears throat> and then I got this, um, I hate all these price tags, a uh, little bell that I thought was really cute. And it is Lefton. Has a nice little, and the little uh, thingy is a wreath. Okay. And this lady had an entire table full of tins. And I was like, all right. So um, I got these. I'm going to take the candles out of them because I don't think that's what they're for. Um, they're beautifully made. They're uh, red glass. And then, the, you know, the, uh, not engraving, but it's been cut to clear. And there is two of them. I myself think they're more of a little planter than a candle holder. <clears throat> to me, they're too pretty to put candles in. So I got those. Um, I got this little um, Tupperware bowl in the green. I was hoping that she had more more of them, you know, like the whole set, but um, it's in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely 70s. Definitely 70s. I remember them well. All righty. Let me get this stuff. Move this. And then I have this obsession with plastic things from the whenever. I mean, they're vintage, I know, but uh, I have a green one. This one is by Regal Line. And um, yeah, let's see what else it says. But um, serving dishes, like a fruit bowl. I have a, a green one at my camper, which I'm pretty sure I'll be bringing home since I've sold the camper. But I thought this one would be very, I was planning on selling this one. I thought it'd be really nice for um, the fall. You could put pumpkins in it and stuff because it's this deep gold color. I thought it was really cool. I could, I could see a big old pile of pumpkins in there. Okay, let's see here. And then I got this um, little crackle glass pitcher. And uh, I thought it was real pretty in blue. Last week I had a, a basket in like a, a light purple color. So I thought this, this week was good for blue. Okay. And keeping with the plastic serving wear <laughs> theme. There's bugs on some of this stuff too. This, I got this tray, and it's made by uh, New Orleans. New Orleans? Made in Greece. And I just thought this was super cool. Um, it's got, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's got some scratches, but it's uh, blackberries and strawberries and other fruit. You know, looks very fall-like to me would be neat for, you know, you could use it for serving drinks or something. My imagination runs wild with plastic. And then I got these two copper mugs, which they used to make uh, Moscow mules a lot. Um, this one was, I thought, in really nice shape. And it is made by um, Goldinger, um, made in India. And it has the uh, brass handle. This one is in really nice shape. Now this one is to made by OGGI. And it's not in very good shape. Um, it has a little thing to put your thumb on. But she said they were a pair. So I just bought them both. Um, I guess if you're drinking a drink out of it. Doesn't matter. 
Okay. And then I got these, which I thought were very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it says they were made in Thailand. But it's a paper mache. Uh, I mean, I would think you would hang it on the wall, not on a Christmas tree. But this one, he has a uh, scarf for Christmas. And it's hollow. I just thought they were really cool. Especially if you like cats. And I just thought it was. And this one I noticed had some dead bugs in it. So I'm going to get rid of them right now. I guess they were keeping them. Maybe thinking it would make it worth more. I don't know. And uh, this one is like a little girl. And she's got a little lace collar. And a, she actually has a little pin on her... Uh, Collar. I thought she was sweet. So if you like cats, these would be kind of, you know, if you had a grouping on your wall of stuff, this would be a nice little filler thing, I think. I, I think. Um, this I bought for myself. Uh, not to use for, uh, it's it's a nicely cardboard made one. It doesn't say it would make, it's made by anything, but I didn't buy it for recipes because I Lord knows I got enough of those boxes. I made it or I bought it to use for my customers so I could have their cards, you know, when I'm sending out mailing stuff. Um I was keeping everything in a notebook, but it was very awkward and big. So I decided to use um uh the cards instead. So now I'm gonna start showing you some of these tins. This one was, uh, I don't know why it's got that on it. Best before 9.30 of 94. It must have been bought in England because they paid $2.25 pounds. Two and a quarter pounds. And it's Buckingham Palace, all butter, shortbread rounds, the Queen's Gallery. Um, I thought that was super cool. Uh, I love the uh, I love the royal family and stuff. Um, product of United Kingdom, specially baked by Walker's Shortbread Limited. And it says ingredients: wheat flour, thirty-two percent butter, thirty-two percent butter, sugar, salt, and whole eggs. 300 grams total weight. So I thought this was super cool. And this lady must have collected tens because she had a carload of them. Okay. Okay. And then I got this little one, which is... Sunset brand oranges, product of USA, and it looks like a little crate of oranges. Made in England in 1992, and it was like that. Nice, very nice condition. She had even more. I, I finally I said, ah, oh, I liked this one. Um, it is. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, and it's a partridge in a pear tree. I like that one. I thought it was cute, and uh, it actually came from Walmart, but I don't know. I think it's really neat. And then it's got all these, you know, all the other days of Christmas. So I thought that one was pretty cool. Okay. And then I got this big one, which is also by that company that did the little orange one. And this one is Plums. Looks real. It looks real. Yeah, you could do a lot with this one. You could keep a lot of stuff in this. 
Why is it that it's really deep? Made in England also, 1992. I think this is the last one I got. This one is uh, Sutter Home Napa Valley. So it must have had wine bottles or something in it. <clears throat> Sutter Home Winery, St. Helena, Napa, California. Gift tin. I don't know what year it was made, but... That's what it looks like on the inside. And then it looks like, um, I'm assuming it's Sutter Home. Let me see here. It looks like this. And I mean, they're all like, you know, they're not all beat up or anything. They're in nice shape. So I got that one. Okay, let me try to <clears throat> move some stuff here. Um, and I believe that was all I got from that lady. Um, the next yard sale I went to, uh, I had a variety of stuff. I got these. And the guy said, I don't, I'm afraid this stick is going to be a little awkward. So I said, I only want the pumpkin anyway. So I broke the stick off. And uh, I thought it was kind of a neat looking pumpkin. I'm not really sure what it's made of, but whatever it is, it's cool. And then there was this, uh, <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. <coughs> Branch with uh, green velvet pumpkins on it. And uh, I liked the color of them. So I got that for crafting or whatnot. Um, I got this, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. And I thought this somebody would really love this. Um, first of all, it's all English recipes. Um, but I just thought, you know, with Harry Potter being as popular as it is, somebody would love this. Okay. One of the things I got is still in the car. It was a game called Banana something. And I also got the game book to a book that you do like crossword puzzles. And <clears throat> it's all tiles, letter tiles, like for um, Scrabble, only they don't have any numbers on them, you know, like for value. And I just bought it for crafting mainly. Um, I got this book called The Search for the Twelve Apostles. I thought that sounded interesting. I need to start finding some lids for my jars. Um, I got another ball jar. This one's an old one. I see all the little bubbles in it. And, um... I don't know what it says on the bottom. can't read it. But anyway, uh, I have these in my kitchen. I keep all kinds of things in them. Things. Okay. Bag they put in is nice, but it's sticky. Got some sticky on it. Um, I got this jar, which I believe was like a refri refrigerator jar. And, um, what does it say on the bottom? Oh, it just says P1132. But, um, I really thought that one was neat. I'm going to sell this one. Oh, on the front it says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. So I don't know what it held or if it was just. You bought it and you put stuff in it, you know, it was a refrigerator jar. But um, I liked the way it looked. I thought it was very neat, very old looking. And then I got these cards. There's two decks in here. And they, one has slid over, but uh, 
they have strawberries on them. They're made by Hallmark. And, oh, and one of them has apples and strawberries. So I figured those of y'all that loves your strawberries and stuff would really like these. I'm going to guess they're all there just from the way the people were. <laughs> there were those kind of people. Um, and then I got two CDs. I got the Best of Stevie Nicks. And the Best of Three Dog Night. I love Three Dog Night. I always like to get the best of because then he pretty much got everything in it. Alrighty, and that was that. And then I was just about ready to leave. And I saw this here stuff. Oh, let me get it out. I'm just going to get out a couple of pieces because... Well, one of them was a two-handled cup. It's the Beatrix Potter. Beatrix Potter dishes with... Um, oh, yeah. Bunnykins, English Fine Bone China, copyright 1936, Royal Dalton. But they're, they're from probably the 80s. Um, 80, 90, 90. I'm going to guess it was their children's stuff. So there was this mug, two-handed one. And then there is um, two sets, because she has two boys. There's a plate, a bowl, and everything on these are always different uh, scenes. It's not, not ever the same. And a cup. A plate, a bowl, and a cup. So I have two full sets of them. Unless I break something. And... I, I thought she was going to cry almost selling it, but she says, we're moving to Florida and I cannot keep everything. And I said, I believe me, I understand. I've moved and I had to get rid of lots of stuff. So from my kids, so I've tried to keep it down to a little dull roar. And then after that, I still was looking for Halloween. I mean, I was having a hard time finding Halloween. So I decided I'd go to the Goodwill. Well, my hair looks weird. Um, the Goodwill, their prices had like tripled since I was last in there. Now, not everyone around here has done that, but this particular one, they was just about tripled. So anything that was really cute, you know, to get, or that, you know, I was like ceramic or whatnot was so expensive that it, I mean, I could never resell it. So, um, I did my best. Hold on guys. I did my best at the Goodwill. And I got a few good things. Um, I got these two black placemats, which I thought would be really neat to use. They're from Made in Italy. They were from Home Goods. I don't think they've ever been used because they still got the price tag on them. <sighs> I got this, which I thought was cute. And I think it's, um, I don't think it's plastic. It might be. But it's a bobblehead, Halloween bobblehead. And you can put your kid's picture in there. I thought that was really cute. The It's just dressed up as a ghost. And it's got a little pumpkin that says trick or treat. So, yes, I thought that was very cute. I got this little, just a little tin bucket. You could 
put flowers in it or what, whatever. And uh, I know it originally came from, um, well, I don't know where it came from. But anyway, I thought that would be cute. Okay. <clears throat> I keep finding these types of things. I really liked this. I thought it was cute. And it's on like a, a piece of wood. And what else we got here? Um, I got this one, which is little ghosties. I thought that one was really cute too. It's on a piece of wood also. It's like Christmas. I forgot what I bought. Um, I bought this owl. I don't know who it's made by. Um, but it's a nice big one. And I thought that was kind of neat. It's got a little baby owl with it. Mama and baby. It's got a pine cone here. So, I don't know. Do owls hang out in, in uh, pine trees? I don't know. But it's a nice big one. Looks scary. Kind of an evil owl. Evil owl. And then I found some. Wait, I should talk when you can hear me. And then I found some rather weird things. I found a set of candlesticks that are bones. Bones. So I thought if you had a set of black candlesticks. Or you could get some clear ones and spray paint them black. But this would be a neat thing to have. Yes, they were cool. Okay. And then I found these. Um, um, they're Halloween candles. They're like flat ones, you know, kind of like uh, tea light candles. There's a cat, a bat, a ghost, and a pumpkin, a jack o' lantern. They're there. This was one of my favorite finds of all. Nothing to do with Halloween, but it's two gigantic bottle brush trees. They're old. They're truly old ones. Sometimes when I get them, they're like losing their, their needles, but these seem to be pretty good. So got those. Whoop. I don't know what this is right here. Oh, it must have been an ornament at one time or something. Hmm. Anywho, got them. Um, I found one of these racks. I know people like these. They sell them on eBay all the time. I don't know. But got one of them. I think that's the first time I've seen one in years. Okay, let me get this up here. I'm breaking my back here. Oh, I thought this was kind of neat. It's four Halloween soaps. Um, there's a ghost, a witch, a pumpkin, and a bat. I thought that was kind of cool. Especially like if you were going to have a Halloween party or something. You could put them in your bathroom. And, um, what else here? Let's 
They're so reluctant to wrap things, you know? I don't know why. This I bought for myself. It's another Pioneer Woman mug. I already have one like this one. And I really, really like, love these Pioneer Woman mugs. And I found this cute witch. She needs to be cleaned up a little bit because she's got fuzzies on her and stuff. But I thought she was adorable. And uh, she has something that you can turn her on. So I'll have to get some batteries and see what she does. She might be scarier than I thought. Hmm. Anyway, got the witch. And I think this was the last item flopping around down here that they didn't wrap. Which is nothing unusual. Um, and it is... The most adorable sleeping mouse uh, hanger for your, you know, it sits on the edge of whatever, and you hang your stocking on it. And I thought that was really cute. And I will have that in my Christmas sale. So that, I believe, is all I got. <clears throat> now, I saw in Marketplace... Um, this guy said, box of stuff, $10. And I looked, and it had some really cool vintage things in it. So I communicated with his wife several times. Told her we'd be over there. She said she wouldn't be back at the place till after 5. I said I'd be there after 5. Let her know when I was on my way. And when we got there, I'm looking around for it. Well, the idiot husband, or whatever he was, had given it to somebody else. He thought that was me. I said, I talked to you guys tons of times. So I, he, I said, do you mind if I look in the garage, see if I can find anything else? So I found, let me stand up one more time. I found this, which I thought was pretty. And, uh, I couldn't see who it was made by. It's made by Inesco. So I got this. And I had an SNH green stamp book in my hand. A green, like an avocado green, uh kind of a pedestal dish. Had a, was really neat looking. And one more thing. What was it? And I said, how much do you want for this stuff? He said, $10. And I said, what? I said, you were going to sell me a whole box of stuff for 10 And now, oh, it was an old, it was an old clock. It's an old mantle clock, electric mantle clock. And I said, and you're going to charge me $10 for this stuff. I said, I don't know. Because there was an old clock in the box. So I didn't have 10 I had four. I said, here, I'll give you four, and um, I'll, I said, you know, I'll be back, because they're going to be bringing more stuff out. So anyway, so he said, did you show her the stuff in the basement? We went in the basement. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got some old pop bottles. Some of them still were full. They weren't real old, but I mean, they're vintage. Uh, from Notre Dame and IU. And uh, there was one really old one. I got, uh, Ron found, and he brought it over, and she kind of looked like, oh, my God, he found that. It was a Munster's thermos out of a kid's lunchbox. So I got that. She showed me some really neat books that were really old. They were cartoon books. And I said I'd wanted those. And um, I think that was about it. So I told the guy, I said, I'll, I'll tell you what, give me my four back, I'll give you a 20. Well, as I, as we were on our way to the restaurant, I said something about, well, it was worth the 20 for the, especially with the four books. And he goes, or for the books, he said, I didn't get any books. So 
I called her right away and I said, would you put them back for me? So um, she said she'd put them in the kitchen cabinet. So he said, didn't you find the, the big box with all the figurines in it? And I said, we didn't see anything. So he said he'd look for it and he would take pictures of it and send them to me, which he hasn't done yet. But I told him I'd call him back in about two or three days and uh, see if I can come over and look at whatever else they were bringing over there. So I was rather upset, but, you know, I was trying to be really nice about it. And I thought, if I'm nice enough, maybe they'll do me good the next time. So anyway, that is pretty much uh, everything I got. And uh, after we went to that house, that that's where we went last night. Um, after we went to that house, we went out and had dinner at this place called Kelsey's Steakhouse. And we had not been there, oh, geez, probably in three years. And the prices had probably tripled in those three years. But Ron said I was worth it because it was my birthday. So I had steak and I had a salad. And they have uh, these potatoes that are probably like O'Brien potatoes, maybe. But they call them Kelsey's potatoes. And I got that. And we had an appetizer of uh, scallops wrapped in bacon. And then um, I think I just swallowed my last piece of steak. And she brings, she like sticks this dessert plate in my tray in my face. And they have this cow-shaped cake. It's covered in ganache and it has a cream filling. The original was chocolate, and he's called Howie. Well, now they have a white one, and it, she said it was called, I don't know, May or something like that. And uh, I love white cake, so I got that, but all the desserts looked scrumptious. But I got the May cow, and uh, I ate about half of it. The other half I had for breakfast. So, yeah, so that it was a great night. We had sangria that they make oh gosh it was so good it really was good and um uh by that time we were stuffed tired and we came home i took my night pills and i fell asleep in the chair and i finally scraped myself off the chair and went to bed so anyway that was my birthday was good a good three days and i guess i'm gonna hang with my daughters on saturday so anyway, um, I thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you're not. Become a part of, uh, I should be Wacky Jackie, not Crafty Jackie, but become a part of my family and, and uh, whatnot. And I will see you in my sale on Friday. Take care and have a great day. If it's still nice where you live, enjoy it because the cold days are coming. Don't forget, wash your hands, wear your mask, and be safe. Love you guys. Bye.